Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Reacts video here, reacting to another episode of You, the Netflix semi-original series. Uh, three episodes in, Joe Goldberg is well and truly on his Joe Goldberg BS. Uh, he's killed Benji. He's looking after Paco. He's dating Beck of sorts, and he lasted 10 seconds in bed. So, you know, varying levels of success here at the minute for him. Uh, just a little thing at the start, just a small thing because I don't want to put any pressure on or anything, but I did start a Patreon that you can check out if you want to. No pressure, obviously, if you've got the money and you want to support, it would be appreciated. Uh, yeah, it would just be, you know, chances for you to suggest stuff for me to watch, early access to videos, stuff like that. So if you've got the money you want to support, link in the description. Check it out. I'd appreciate it. But if not, it's fine. I understand. And it's okay. Without further ado, let's just jump right into things, shall we? With Season 1, Episode 4 of You, The Captain. What was that? Eight seconds? Say something. Say... Happens all the time. No, you'll sound like a slut. Oh, thank God. Um, I should... Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, it's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Little perspective in Beck's mind for once, you know, trying to figure out what the hell to do. Uh, saved by the phone, thankfully. Saved by this phone call so she doesn't have to deal with awkwardly trying to figure out what to say after Joe Goldberg lasted eight seconds in bed. <laughs> Why did you tell him you were available? Good girl. That wasn't so hard. Seriously? Hey, Beck, I'm gonna run the Shit, Joe. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so awkward, isn't it, God? <laughs> Joe insulted, obviously, like, seriously, Beck? We just had a very passionate eight seconds of lovemaking there. And you're just gonna go off texting this other guy? <laughs> you know, he sees she got the money for his like, alright, I'm headed out. He sees she says, love ya, he's gone, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Not a good night for Joe. This night's been up and down. Burning the body, success. Having to go back on the phone, bad. Uh, well, that was the previous night, wasn't it? But they made up. Uh, did it. Didn't go well. Now this. is <laughs> varying levels. Last night, eight second sex. Joe. You just have a magic poon. Hashtag Yoni too good. Thanks. That's helpful. <laughs> They're being supportive. That's that's the supportive that they're going to get, okay? That, that's, that's great <laughs> You know, simple answer. Joe lasted eight seconds. Your vagina is just that good. <laughs> oh my god. They're being supportive. They're being supportive. You're not helping. Is he worth it? Is he worth it? <sighs> there we go. Good question. Is he? That is the question here. In this situation, that is the question. It only lasted eight seconds. It might be a one off or it might not. You know, is he worth it? You know, and I go with and I go with the big questions, the important questions. <laughs> good job, fair enough, fair enough. They're Annika and Lynn, good. I like them. It's not like it doesn't happen to tons of guys. Benji used to nod off. Benji didn't work retail. Joe works in a bookstore. Bex, love yourself. Ghost him already. Peach hates Joe so much, man. Like, Jesus Christ, every chance she's get, she, she's happy to point out he's poor and ghost him. <laughs> it's the real sticking point, you know? He's poor, he's poor. She could look for another point. She could really have only eight seconds of that, but no, no, no. Immediately back to Beck. Come on. He's poor. I am going to a writer's retreat. Tell me you're not writing another dead puppy thing as a metaphor for your dad dying. Write fresh. There's so much more inside of you. Beck, you know, not sharing everything with Peach about the captain and all that, which, you know, fair enough, fair enough, not sharing that with anyone. Uh, <laughs> Peach with some Peach advice as ever, you know, write about who you are now, which is fair enough, you know, write, write about various different things, who you are now, who you are in the past. At least what Beck wants to write about, though, you know, so having a go at her saying to stop writing about that, it's not helpful. It's not helpful, Peach. Okay, go. Find that brilliant badass inside of you and believe in her. I know I do. The most supportive she's ever been about your writing and you're lying to her face. <laughs> Bet going for it. Bet going for it. <laughs> that very much is 
the most supportive I've ever seen Peach at the very least. <laughs> Max Knight. And it's in a situation where I'm, I'm absolutely lying about it. <laughs> oh, it's got to be done, Beck. It's got to be done. You could just leave. You could, you know, cut the cord, take off the yoke. Bon voyage, Captain. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, you're not a coward, Beck, okay? It's, it's not as easy as just cut the cord, bon voyage, you know? You need money for rent, okay? <laughs> It's not, it's not as simple as just cut the cord. Has he been working out? There's something about the look of the captain, man. <laughs> he's, he's, it's something about the way he's built and the outfit and everything. It's just, <laughs> it makes me laugh a little bit. It makes me laugh, God. And of course, Joe, you know. We get Beck's perspective to start things, but, uh, you know, kind of make you forget about Joe. <laughs> he's there. He's waiting. He, he's got her messages. He knows where she's going. He can keep, he can, he can keep an eye on her. You know, he got the room next to her as well, so it was solid there. Solid work there, Joe. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Did you just... Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> this is the third time. This... <laughs> This, no, this is, this is the fourth time this show has shown me Joe lasting eight seconds. Jesus Christ, please stop. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> it's too awkward. Please don't make me watch anymore. You should be screaming my name right now. You definitely did not get off. You don't even know what to say, do you? Ignore it. Ignore it, Beck. What the hell have I done? Yeah, it really didn't go the way Joe wanted, did it? God. <laughs> this did... Not plan out the way he wanted, you know. Should be screaming my name right now instead of just laying here awkwardly and you're leaving to take take texts and phone calls. <laughs> Didn't work out, Joseph. You're already telling whoever that is. I've reduced myself to an anecdote. The Minute Man. Being generous. Don't let it be Peach. Yeah, the the Minute Man is being very, very generous, Joe. Okay? In Maybe we don't. I don't know if we can round up when it's that low. I'm sorry. The captain. What the hell is this? Love ya. Love ya. You never said that to Benji. And look what had to happen to him. Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> this man. This man. You know, came quickly once, and he's ready to kill again. <laughs> he's ready to kill again. Oh my God. Joe. <laughs> Tell her, Beck. Joe's the one. Yes, worth it. Not like there was any real doubt. <laughs> little celebration, little fist bump. Had to appreciate it for a minute. Am I worth it? Yes, I am. One more shot. Let's do it. No, never in doubt. Never in doubt. Outfit. Are you kidding me? You do all this for him? Christoph's party in camp. Got it right. You even lie to your friends about this guy. What the hell? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, I mean, obsessed enough, I'm very suspicious of all that, you know, who is this guy? She'll spend all that money on an outfit, book a hotel, lie to her friends, who is this guy? What's his effing deal, for God's sake? It can't be. How old is he? You don't need to do this, whatever this is. So good to see you, hon. Yeah, you too, Dad. Dad? <laughs> the way he said it, Dad? <laughs> very confused, goes to all this trouble, stressing about her banging this guy, but it's just her dad, you know? He would have still been left in that weird unknown space and not fully knowing if she had said daddy instead, but thankfully she left off the D and the Y. She just, she just stuck with a solid dad. A lot, lot less likely to get confused there, thankfully. I really think you'd love it up there, honey. I don't know my schedule that far out. Of course, I understand. And you wonder why he asked for more. But I'll totally check and I'll let you know as soon as possible. Oh. You know, keep him having hope. Keep him on the hook, I suppose. A tough situation, you know. Beck's history of her father, his addiction issues, him ODing in front of her, but obviously coming through it on the other side because he is alive. <laughs> Understandable, maybe, Beck keeping my arms length a little bit, him going off, starting this new family. It's tough. It's tough. 
And how's school going? It's great, actually. I'm just working on building my portfolio. It's it's more than just that first book. You really need the second if you're going. Hey, where are you guys? Him going through all the small talk options available in, in this in the selection menu. How's your mom? Your brother's doing good? How's school? She, he's very much in his NPC era there. And the one, the, you know, she actually starts to talk about something she's passionate about, her writing, her work. And then he's immediately answering the phone call, ignoring her. Yeah, this, like, this is why you keep my arms length, okay? <laughs> it's fair enough. Oh my god. Brought you something? No, she's not. Oh, it's perfect. You're slipping a bit, dear. Touch me again, crazy pants. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, I can fully see why you keep seeing this family to a minimum. Because <laughs> Jesus Christ, this woman buying the hat, the cat wasn't even there in the background, like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Vex just trying to keep the peace and get through this, for the love of god, just get through this. <laughs> but she is this close, she is this close, just breaking and just, just whacking her. Hey Nancy, let's take the kids and bake it. You really are capable of keeping a secret. Four, by my count. Who the hell are you, Beck? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, she doesn't have to tell them everything, they barely know each other for the love of God, but she is keeping a secret from everyone as well. I, I'm, the main point here is this kind of thing is Joe's dream, because he gets to wear an outfit like that, which is just prime stalking material, the cap, the, the coat with the little, you know, sides up, that's prime stalking material for Joe. Your father has come such a long way, it goes to show you what a good Christian household and a loving family can do. She did not just suggest if you were more Christian, he wouldn't have abandoned you for a crack pipe. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nancy is just... Nancy is Disney-level evil stepmother, isn't she? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Just shows what a Christian household can do. Oh, Beck, your strength to not hit her? Props. Props to you. Your dad talked to you yet? About. He can't send money anymore. She's so cranky. It's the hormones. She's pregnant. It's great. He's starting a new family. Once again, Beck, your strength to not hit this child right now. Oh my god, she is just like her mother, isn't she? Taking the opportunity. Uh, look at the positive, Beck, you know? If he stops sending money, you have no reason to see him anymore, which can only be a good thing because you do not need this. <laughs> You don't need any of this circus, okay? This is no longer your circus or your monkeys, okay? So, look on the bright side, at least, in that situation. Looking for Joe. Expect him anytime soon? I do not. Joe's out of town. I'm in the market for a first edition copy of Ozma Vaz. I'm not sure we have it. And where is Joe? Oh, Peach God. <laughs> Turning on the charm for Ethan. And Ethan, he's willing to fold. He's willing to fold like that. But no, he doesn't have the key. Joe's not trusting anyone with his beautiful baby cage. <laughs> Come and snoop on Joe. Come and uh, we'll see if he stole the Osmer of Oz because that is heavily what she suspects, isn't it? <laughs> Which he did, but you know. <laughs> oh, but Joe, Joe, Joe's, Joe's too busy. He's too busy actively stalking Beck and her family. Which we've we've not all been there. We've not all been there. <laughs> are you with Eight Seconds? I'm on a retreat. What are you talking about? Joe's there. What did she look like? Twenty-five-ish brunette, kind of hot. Peach, and you told her I'm here. <laughs> Joe going for it. Obviously doesn't want Beck to know he's here, actively stalking her. You know, you can go away with the convention, but when you get to, oh my god, we, we've we got neighbouring rooms at this hotel, well then it gets a little more suspicious, doesn't it? You know? <laughs> oh, Ethan. You mean well. You mean well and we love you, you know. But Jesus Christ. You can also see why Beck is not trusting. <laughs> why uh, Peach is not trusting Beck at all. And Joe does not like Peach. There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on right now. And Joe's under a lot of stress. How is this explainable? Shit, shit, shit. Joe? Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> Joe, that was very believable. Joe did the calculations in his head, okay? He Doctor Strange looked into 10 trillion futures to see what was the best outcome. And the best outcome was, uh, well, accepting that Beck knows he's here because it's Peach. Of course, she's going to tell her. And so, how do I do this? Well, have her bump into me, you know, got to be surprised. He, he's planned out on his head. He planned out on his head right, just like that, which, I mean, the goat, the goat of it. That's true. You are a bookseller. I'm lying to you right now. I knew you were here. I may have left you a little wanting. Yeah. So you're saying you did want it to last longer than eight seconds? 
Oh, for God's sake, he's so charming. Why has the stalking murderer got to be so goddamn charming, for Christ's sake? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Joe, he's so good at it. He's so good at it. You, you want it longer than eight seconds? <laughs> and fair enough, he looked into the future and decided the best one was, I knew you were here. Um, How did you know she was here? That'd be the key question for me, at least, Beck. <laughs> you didn't tell anyone. <laughs> How did you know I was here? Posted a nature shot this morning. See that little restaurant sign in the background? Googled it, saw all the information about the festival, and I figured it was probably why you were in the area. Yeah. I mean, Joe just putting his stalking skills to use there if Beck's impressed by it, which... Sure. Sure, you know. <laughs> he really fooled it all through, didn't he? He really fooled it all through. And this outfit better be working for her. It cost over $400, Joe. Who is this handsome gentleman? This is Joe. He works at a bookstore I go to in the city. I'm Ned, Beck's dad. Nice to meet you both. You're welcome to join us for dinner, Joe. I'd love to. <laughs> oh, Beck's got some explaining to do now. Joe played off very cool. There's a situation here where Joe has just met Beck's dad, who Beck has only ever talked about in the past tense, and has actually talked about her, his addiction issues and all of that. Uh, and so... You know, she might have assumed that Joe assumed, like everyone else she knows, that her dad is dead. So, <laughs> I have to explain that away. You know, Joe did a great job in the stalking. Now it's your turn, Beck. One day when I was 12, my father, unconscious, with a needle in his arm. I'm so sorry. He survived it. When he disappeared on us because he relapsed, I couldn't believe it. Oh, Beck. I mean, that's tough to go through at any age, but you know, what did she say, Nine? It's that young age, going down, seeing your father in that position, thinking he's dead, him coming through and then him just disappearing again, it, it's tough. It's, uh, tough is a very much an understatement for that situation. I get it if you are horrified and think I'm a total fraud and liar and want nothing to do with me. After everything you've been through, I get it. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm very surprised though, you know. Uh, all the guys should know in the past, and then here's Joe apologizing for you know she's saying about her lying about all this stuff and he's the one apologizing for having gone through it not caring about the lying you know it's refreshing for her to have a uh, someone supportive and nice like this and, and a very good change i'll tell them you had to go back so unvictorian of me the virtuous maiden rescued by the dashing sometimes broody altogether charming hero <laughs> that meant to be you I mean, that's fully unironically how he sees himself. You know, br somewhat brooding, charming hero figure. That is fully how Joe sees himself all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be him back. Did you sail? Oh, God, no. Dad, you know your way around a sailboat. The renters next door. They had that sunfish, and the current took us like halfway to Long Island. I don't think he remembered. I think he can speak for himself. Oh, Beck. Her cherished, you know, childhood memories before all of this. Uh, and the captain just doesn't remember because he was just so off his head on drugs. I mean, Jesus Christ, Beck, you're going for it, man. Cut it off. Cut it off, Beck, please. Your father, he's just an ATM to you. And what is he to you? A feature for your blogs? I was in the books with him and not because I wasn't Christian enough. You didn't save him. This is the most awkward family did a joke of a volunteered to attend. Oh, my Lord. Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> Your life in comparison, Joe. Ten out of ten. No, no, no. It's no, no. It's oh my lord. You can understand Beck's resentment. You know, she was the one in the pits. You know, with him. You know, and then she comes along with all the blog talking about helping save him and the church and crediting it to that. And then it, you, you can see why Beck would be very, very, very angry and resentful of all of this. Do you want him dead? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> he takes a seat. He thinks, what's the best way to start this conversation? Do you want your dad dead? <laughs> oh, God, Joe. <laughs> Bexuration. Reaction. Just uh, staring off into the void and then just... What? <laughs> Hell of a way to start the convo, Joe. You're a writer. Could be helpful to write about him. What are you doing? Nothing. Do you hear know. yourself right now? Who the hell are you to tell me that I have daddy issues? You don't even know me. Leave me alone. I'm serious. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> putting it, putting it plainly, 
I didn't go well, did it? Oh, God. Yeah. You shouldn't have... Oh. <laughs> At some point, you can just leave it silent. You don't have to fill the air talking about... You could write about it, you know? Like, Joe, no, please. Oh, my God. Jesus. is The way you tried to, you know, step it all back. Like, no, I didn't... <laughs> He he was panicking. He is panicking. This is this has not gone well. <laughs> this is about no. This has gone about as well as a conversation with "Do you want your dad dead?" could have gone, to be honest. It's hard for me to see you with them. Keep waiting for you to be you again. This is me. You were a kid. You didn't see what was going on. Yes, I did. You were more than just an addict. Oh God. yeah. This is this is a need conversation. Okay. This should have happened a while ago. You know, both in pain about, about the full destruction of this kind of relationship, the father-daughter relationship. You know, Beck logging for the dad she had, and him saying that, you know, you were just a child, children would see stuff with rose-colored glasses, see what they want to see, parents only want to see, show them the good, all the struggles he was going through. It's tough. It's it's tough on both sides, you know, you can get it on both sides. You were a good sailor. Well, maybe you can tell me about it sometime. I'll have to let you know. Yeah, right down to the name, it says a lot, doesn't it? She calls him, puts him down as the captain. You know, and he, that's just, to him, isn't who he's ever been or how he sees himself now. And for her, it's this core memory of him, you know, this good thing amongst all the darkness and the addiction troubles and all of that. And for him to just kind of turn his back on that as well, you know. Yeah, Beck. Oh, Beck. Oh, Beck. Going through it, just, yeah, just cut it, Beck. Just cut it. You don't need this. You know, you don't need this. Happier future. Happier future. On the plywood over the bay window, we spray paint taunts at Hurricane Isabel. Cow her into a tropical storm. Her moon tide, though, carries your beach chair away. Oh, Beck. I mean, it has, has somehow always, Joe was right, you know, Peter right into in this feeling and all the lessons you're writing. And it's, it's just very good, you know, just writing about longing, about all these memories your father did just gone you know it's it's a good piece it's it's a, it's a very very strong piece Guinevere your wrist the perfect can't you leave for the 820 to Hyannis with one commandment get the batter off the ladle while it's wet oh uh, that hurt there that hurt there you know looks on Nancy's face for all the pictures from from the you know the the f fair I don't know whether I was saying fair or con all the pictures from that of their little family uh, can go online, but then the picture of just you and your dad, that's only a text, and that's not going online, you know. Hurt. Uh, she just hurt. She's just hurt, which is understandable. <sighs> She's happy. She's happy there, you know. Putting her heart into it, going through it, and then... Getting this, you know, just even just a slow text of recognition uh, from someone she respects so much in Blythe, yeah. Yeah, would make you feel good, wouldn't it? Would make you feel good. Like, yeah, this was the right move, and oh, God damn it, Joe was right. <laughs> they say girls with daddy issues are really good in bed. Mm. I like who I am with you, Joe. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Conversation style wise, this episode's been up and down. You know, do you want your dad dead down at the bottom of the good list? Uh, but that one back, Jesus Christ, that's a hell of an intro. <laughs> Killed it. Killed it, back. No notes. Sorry, I didn't call. Is it okay if I come in? Showing a little bit of a panic, though. <laughs> Because, you know, he's been in his depression era after the Beck stuff. And he's got all the stuff he's stolen from her laid out. Her diary, her panties, her phone. And yeah, don't want her to see or find any of that. So, damn. <laughs> Gotta think quick, Joe, but you're very good at thinking quick. So, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Joe with a frame perfect speed run there of hiding everything under the pillows, under the sofa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this man is a menace. This man is a menace in more days than one. You know? And he's doing all of that whilst heavily pleasuring Beck. I mean, 
fair play. G genuinely, once again, the go of this stalking stuff. Hey, stranger. <laughs> you drool in your sleep. So cute. Were you watching me? Maybe. Uh-uh. Stalker. Learn from the best. <laughs> Oh, Beck, you don't know how right you are. He is the best at stalking. <laughs> oh, congrats, yo. You lasted longer than eight seconds. You clearly pleasured her well. Uh, and now, yeah, yeah, he thought she was gone. You know? <laughs> oh, happy for you, Joe. Happy happy for the both of you, for now. How, you know, long may it last. I have to apologize. I was a hostile goose. A hostile goose. Geese are total dicks. You called me on my shit. I took it really poorly. Oh, first of all, she is right. Geese, absolute arseholes. Geese are absolute pricks, <laughs> you know. Hostile goose. Oh, my God. Uh, and apologising to Joe. And Joe will probably say it's all okay, because he always knows what's to say, doesn't he? God damn it, he's good. Every guy I date is either messes or trying to be something they think they should. Or me, both a mess and a fraud. You're not a fraud. So just a mess? Not more than anyone. Yeah, Joe, go for his trademark, you know. Well, when in doubt, go with, isn't everyone? And yeah, everyone is a mess, Beck, so don't worry about it. <laughs> and don't worry about, you know, you dating out your type. You still are. Joe is a fraud. <laughs> this Joe that you're getting, that ain't, that ain't the Joe I know. <laughs> One of the chances I'm getting a follow-up review. I redeemed myself. Far be it for me to stop you from shouting it from the rooftops. Plus, I guess it is nice to hear it from your friends, even if not all of them. Jesus Christ, Beach. Come on, be supportive for once in your goddamn life. You're so well supporting the Ryan on the starting episode. Support Joe, just for once, okay? God, Beck just wants to brag about Joe getting her there, you know? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Peaches, be nice. <laughs> Also, of course, Joe couldn't just bask in the in the great time they had. No, no, immediately to find. Got to see what she thinks. Got to see what she really thinks. You know, she might be lying after all. It's really too bad. The one whose approval you crave most isn't my biggest fan. I can return the book. Every relationship has its obstacles to overcome, right? I won't let her get in the way of us, Beck. Yeah, he really won't. He'll do anything to not let Peach get in the way of you and Beck. Him and Beck. <laughs> get putting the book back. You know, getting trying to get Peach off his behind. The suspicion she has around him for that. You know. Just deal with that. Put the book back. She'll be like, oh, you know, well, she'll still be suspicious or whatever. But still, she, she has the book and she can't blame it on Joe there. God, he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? And just like that, another episode of you has come to an end. It's so good, isn't it? It's just very addicting. You know, oh, Joe. Joe's good at what he does. What he does happens to be stalking a murder, but God damn, is he good at it. And him and Beck are in a really good place right now. Uh, let's just enjoy it whilst it lasts. But that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you have. And subscribe for more. Uh, you Season 4 coming next month. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let me know your thoughts as always as well in the comments down below. And yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.